Beginning Latin Lesson One by John Edmund Bars. Recorded for the LibriVox Language Learning Collection, Volume One. Read by Nicholas James Bridgewater. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Lesson 1. Pronunciation. 1. The Alphabet. The Latin alphabet is the same as the English, without J or W. 2. Letters sounded as in English. The following letters have the same sounds as in English. P, B, T, D, K, L, M, N, R, F, H, X, Q, U. 3. Long and short vowels. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, Y. When plenty of time is taken to pronounce a vowel, the vowel is said to be long. When the pronunciation is hurried a little, the vowel is said to be short. Long vowels are marked thus. A with a macron, E with a macron, I with a macron, O with a macron, U with a macron, Y with a macron. Short vowels are marked thus, or left unmarked. The latter is the method regularly followed in this book. 4. Sounds of the vowels. The sounds of the vowels are as follows. A with a macron. Like the second A in aha. A. Like the first A in aha. E with a macron. Like A in they. E. Like E in then. I with a macron. Like I in machine. I. Like I in pin. O with a macron. Like O in holy. O. Like O in obey. U with a macron. Like double O in pool. U. Like U in pull. Y with a macron and Y have a sound which may be uttered by shaping the lips as if to say oo and then making the sound e. 5. Exercise. Pronounce the following words according to the rules in 2 to 4. 1. Amabam. Petebant. Liber. Liber. 2. Orator. Quod. Utebamini. Quorum. 3. Tyranni. Militem. Rex. Infero. 6. Diphthongs. The diphthongs and their sounds are as follows. A E like A I in aisle. A U like O U in house. E I like E I in eight. E U like E U in feud. More exactly like A U pronounced rapidly, the A being sounded as in they. O E like O I in oil. U I like ui or we other combinations of vowels as a i e o etc do not form diphthongs each vowel being pronounced separately as in aulai seven exercise pronounce the following hai autem deinde hil boina week Remaining sounds pronounce C as in cat, G as in get, I consonant, 
in some books j is written for i consonant this is merely a matter of convenience as latin had no letter j usual sound between two vowels or at the beginning of a word when followed by a vowel like y in u s as in so not as in has v like w z like d z c h like k p h like f b s like p s b t like p t doubled consonants should both be sounded contrary to the custom of english thus bellum is pronounced distinctly bellum not bellum nine exercise pronounce the following one ketegi yam amas hik seek two godza zama chorus urps three philosophus obtineo kaisarem kikero ten syllables a latin word has as many syllables as it has vowels and diphthongs thus praesidium has four syllables prae si di um in dividing a word into syllables a consonant between two vowels belongs to the second as rexeramus the last syllable of a word is called the ultima the syllable before the last is called the penult the syllable before the penult is called the antipenult eleven accent a word of two syllables is accented on the penult as illud erat a word of more than two syllables is accented on the penult if the penult is long as amabam poteramus if the penult is short the accent falls on the antipenult as amaveram potuerant twelve rules of quantity the quantity of a syllable that is its length may often be known by means of simple rules called rules of quantity thus a a syllable is long when it contains a diphthong as kaisar or when it contains a long vowel as regina antiquus or when its vowel even if short is followed by two consonants or a double consonant x z as exoriuntur catullus b a syllable is short when it contains a short vowel followed by a single consonant aberrant is a compound ab errant and does not follow the rule of ten in its division aberrant confici or when its vowel is followed by h or by another vowel with which it does not form a diphthong c4 as contrahunt subeo thirteen exercise copy the following passage marking the accent of each word according to the principles given in eleven and twelve pronounce according to the rules in one to twelve quo usque tandem abutere catilina patientia nostra quam diu etiam furor iste tuus nos eludet quem ad finem se se effrenata iactabit audacia nihil ne nocturnum praesidium palati nihil urbis vigiliae nihil timor populi nihil concursus bonorum omnium nihil hic munitissimus habendi senatus locus 
nihil horum ora vultusque moverunt note beginning on page 185 will be found additional exercises and questions on each lesson except the reading lessons these are intended to furnish material for classroom drill it is not necessary that they should be prepared in advance although pupils who have the time will find them a means of testing and improving their preparation on the other hand it should not be forgotten that these drill exercises are an essential part of the method of this book and that they cannot be omitted without impairing its efficiency end of beginning latin lesson one by john edmund bars